Joseph was sold into slavery. Jacob had 12 sons. Joseph, Rachel's first son, was 17 years old when he tended his father's flock with his brothers. Joseph went running to Jacob to complain about their work. Of his 12 sons, Jacob favored Joseph. He gave him a richly decorated coat of many colors. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. Joseph then had a strange dream that he shared with his brothers. We were binding sheaves of grain out in the field, explained Joseph, when suddenly my sheaf rose and stood upright, while your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed down to it. The brothers were angry. Do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more because of his dream. Later, Joseph shared another dream with them. Listen, he said. This time, the sun and moon and eleven stars were bowing down to me. This dream made his brothers even more jealous of him. Joseph shared the dream with his father. What is this dream you had? Jacob asked. He told Joseph off, asking, Will your mother and I and your brothers actually come and bow down to the ground before you? But Jacob thought much about the dream and what it might mean. One day, Joseph's brothers had traveled north to Shechem to find pastures to graze their father's flock. Joseph had remained at home with his father Jacob in the valley of Hebron. Jacob told Joseph, Go and see if all is well with your brothers and with the flocks, and bring word back to me. So Joseph set off from Hebron to Shechem to find his brothers. However, when he got there, he could not find them. A man asked, What are you looking for? Joseph replied, I'm looking for my brothers. Can you tell me where they are grazing their flocks? I heard them say, Let's go to Dothan. The man replied, so Joseph traveled on to Dothan. His brothers were grazing their flocks there. However, when his brothers saw him in the distance, they plotted to kill him. Here comes that dreamer, they muttered. Let's kill him and throw him into one of these cisterns. We can say that a ferocious animal devoured him. Then we'll see what comes of his dreams. Reuben, the oldest of Jacob's sons, protested. Let's not take his life, he said. Don't shed any blood. Throw him into this cistern, but don't lay a hand on him. Reuben said this, planning to rescue Joseph later and take him back to his father. So when Joseph arrived, his brother stripped him off his ornate robe and threw him into an empty cistern. As they sat down to eat their meal, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelite traders coming from Gilead. Their camels were loaded with spice, balm, and myrrh they were taken to Egypt. Judas said to his brothers, Let's not kill Joseph, but sell him to the Ishmaelites. So they pulled Joseph up out of the cistern and sold him for 20 shekels of silvers to the Ishmaelite traders. Joseph was taken prisoner by the Ishmaelite traders and began his long journey to Egypt to be sold as a slave. Reuben had not been with the other brothers when Joseph was sold. When he discovered Joseph was no longer in the cistern, he tore his clothes in grief. The boy isn't there. What can I do now? Then they got Joseph's robe, slaughtered a goat, and dipped the robe in the blood. They took the ornate robe back to their father and said, We found this. Is it your son's robe? It is my son's robe, Jacob cried. Some ferocious animal has devoured him. Grief stricken, Jacob tore his clothes, put on sackcloth, and mourned for Joseph. No one could comfort him. He wept. <laughs> I will continue to mourn until I join my son in the grave.